In GIS, I am going to create a barcode uh, with the correct colors um, from a DST and change it over to a transport code or Z00 file um, for the ZSK machine. So in order to bring in a DST, uh, convert to the correct colors, um, we first need to open it. So we'll go to File and Open, or we can use a little Open icon over here. I'll left click on Open, and I do have to import the design. Uh, now before we import the design, let me cancel this out, um, I am going to go ahead and make a new directory in here. And what I'm going to do is, this is the internal directory for, um, for the GIS base pack, and I am just going to call this uh, new directory transport codes. And after I've uh, put this directory in, I'm going to go ahead and install it uh, in my list here. So I left click on add directory, and now I have this new directory. So now I'll go into import, and um, I've, I already have my file folder open. Um, this file folder is just on my desktop called shared. And I'll go ahead and choose the file that I'd like to open, press OK, and now it brings it into um, my new uh, window here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, I can select more than one if I'd like, um, or I can just select one. Now, whatever's highlighted yellow will be what I bring in. So I can just left click and select the ones that I want to bring in. Or if I left click it on it again, uh, it will unhighlight it. So with this one highlighted, I am going to go ahead down to the bottom here and left click on the copy selected design icon. Left click on that and I'm going to copy it into my transport codes. I'll go ahead and hit save. And now when I hit save, uh, I can change things about the design or give the design you know, different information. I can change the name of the design, uh, the number of the design, so on and so forth. The first thing I'm going to change though is are the colors. And I'm going to go ahead and click on this show header information icon, left click on that. And here in the design header, it's going to give me all the uh, the different uh, options and, and, and also all the different information. You can see that this does have 16 uh, colors per se, or 15 color changes. Um, but really there's not as many colors in this design uh, as 16. I'm not exactly sure how many colors it has off the top of my head, but it's definitely not 16. The other thing that I'm going to do in here is I'm going to change the name. I'm just going to change the name to Owl, and I can give it a customer name. I can also give it other information such as the price and, and other things. Um, but here, this is where I want to go into to change the colors um, and give it actual thread numbers. So I'll go ahead and left click on my three little uh, dots of color, left click on that. And with my color table on the left hand side here, you can see that I have all my different um, you know, thread manufacturers. And what I'm going to use here is the Madeira Classic. So I do have that selected. And here on my screen, it's showing me what the first color is, second color, third color, fourth color. It does say N for needle, but I like to think this as, as color. You can see what the green represents. So what we want to do is change this to where we have the correct colors um, from my, my color sheet. So I have the numbers of the thread. I can either choose um, or put the number of thread in here, or I can actually choose it from the list. First thing is, is I am going to find the first thread, which is 1132. And with this highlighted, I left clicked on it. I'll go to 1132 and just double click on it. And you can see now it changes to 1132. I'll left click on screen and you can see that it actually redraws it. 
So the next one I'll do the same thing. The next color is 1219. So I'll go find 1219 and double click. When I double click it changes it on here and when I click on to the actual design preview it'll also change the design preview. The other things that I can do is actually type in if I double click on the at sign I can actually type in the number that I want to bring in and this one is 1014 so I just type in 1014 hit enter on my keyboard and you can see that changes I'll also click in here and you can see that preview change. So number four is going to be 1105. I'll just double click, 1105, enter. The next one, number five, is going to be 1156, 1156, enter. The next one is 1157, so 1157, enter. Thread seven is going to be 1230, 1230. 8 is going to be 1094, 1094, enter. And again, I'll just left click here, see an, another redraw. Number 9 is 1321, 1321, left click, you can see that change. Uh, number 10 is going to be 1109. 1109. Number 11 is 1157, which we also have that with number 6. So we're not going to change that right now. Um, all right, yeah, I'm sorry, number 6, which is 1157. So 11 is also 1157. We are going to replace needle or color 11 with needle 6, and we'll do that next. Number 12 is going to be 1014, which is also the same as 3. So I'll change that in that next section too. Um, number 13 is also going to be 1094, which is also, um, which one is it here? 1094, number eight. Um, number 14, I'll scroll down. That's going to be 1219, which is also needle two. Um, number 15 is going to be 1156, which is also number 5. And number 16 is going to be 1321, which is also number 9. So these I'm not going to change. They're all repeating colors. So I'll just hit OK. And I'll say yes. And then here is where I am going to uh, change those needles and associate those colors uh, with the repeating um, colors that I used before. So the first one um, I believe was number um, was number 11. So we'll take number 11, left click on that, and we are going to replace it with number 6. So when I click on 11, I'll just double click 6 over here, and it's saying instead of assigning it needle 11, assign it needle 6 because 11 and 6 are actually the same color. Now 12 is 1014, which is also number 3. So I'll left click on 12, double click on 3. 13 is going to be 1094, which is also number 8. So I left click on 13, double click on 8. 14 is going to be 1219, which is the same as number 2. 15 is going to be 1156, which is the same as number 5. 16 is going to be 1321, which is the same as number 9. So I've replaced all those needles, so I don't need to uh, program those. Press OK, and you see that picture actually change here. Um, once I have done that, I'll go ahead and uh, press OK. But actually, I'm sorry, before I do that, I can also put comments in here uh, and this will save with your design as well as print on your worksheet. So I'll go ahead and press OK. And there's, you can see our name changed. We'll go ahead and, uh, and press OK again. And now it is in my um, directory. If I'd like to give the design a different number, 
I can come up here and just type in the number that I want. It's typically uh, eight numeric uh, digits. And this one, I'm just going to type in one and enter. Oops. And instead of hitting enter, I do need to hit the rename button. Okay, so I've got my design. Um, let's go ahead and save it into our uh, directory for our um, for our machine. So the the um, the folder that you have shared for the machine. I'll right click on this and hit export. I want to make sure it's a ZSK transport code. I'll go ahead and press OK. And I'll just put it in my shared folder. This is the folder that um, my machine will read. And I'll hit Save. Now I'm going to hit OK. I do need to bring in the design. You can see now the design is the correct colors. I'm going to click on this little button here that says All Modules, which is zooming my whole design. And you can see now it's the correct colors. And the, the T8 controller, when I barcode it, will actually see these colors. And I won't have to input um, a color sequence. What I will have to do is actually match the colors in my color to needle association. So first, let's print out a worksheet. Uh, I'm just going to go to File and Print. Left click on Print. And here with my print design, I have the ability to um, change the page uh, title. Um, <clears throat> I can also go here and make and you know choose what to print. I also have the design uh, tab here at the top, and I can give my design um, if I want to view it at 100%, you know, or, or print it at 100%, um, things like that. Um, I could change that in there. We'll, we'll go ahead and hit preview right now. And when I preview my design, you can see here, there's my barcode, the design name, uh, the test customer. I have the design number. And these are the colors that the um, machine is going to use. So it says N1, N2, N3, so on and so forth. And actually in my design information when I take it over to the machine, the machine will show you the actual thread colors or the thread numbers for N1, N2, N3, you know, all the way to 10. So what we have to do in the machine is when, when we bring it in and optimize it with default values, once we get into the main screen, we have to go to that color to needle association and associate this thread with whatever needle uh, that thread is on. So if I hit the next button, you're going to see that these are my actual thread numbers. Um, you can see uh, thread one or needle one, color one is 1132, which if we go to the previous pages, that's number one here. So this can all print out then 12, 19, so on and so forth. So when I do print this out, um, I have to match the colors. I don't have to input the color changes because this file format will also know those color changes and that 11 is going to be uh, the same as I think it was six or something like that. So the machine will know and do those color changes properly. So we'll go ahead and zoom out. But this is the barcode that we would actually scan when we prepare the machine for barcoding. Um, you can also see your histogram, uh, you know, your tr you know where it's going to trim on your design, uh, what needle it's going to, um, and you can see in here that um, you've got needle, you know, it'll go to the f needle one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, then goes back to needle six three, eight, two, five, and nine. So we don't have to input that because that's all saved within it. So you can see there's 15 color changes, just like we saw in the DST. There's 28 trims, and um, we're actually only using 10 colors. Um, where you can see here's some of that information at the top 
um, the price of the design. I'm going to go ahead and hit next. Um, we can see all the thread that's used. You can see that there's only 10 colors used and those color numbers. So after we print that out, we can take that over to the machine, barcode it, and uh, set those colors. So we'll go back to, this, to the design, and, um, and from there, you should be good to go. Now, if we want to do more than multiple, we can go to Open, and we would go to the Import. And let's say I take this design, press OK, and I actually I want to take three designs in here. I'll take these three designs, I will copy them over to my transport code directory and hit save. Now once I do that, I can go into each design separately, click on the design, go into the design header, change the information like I did before, we'll go here, and you know change my colors. Let's say I've got this, and then I've got this, and I'm just picking arbitrary colors. Okay, now these next four I'm going to match with the other needles because they're repeating colors. So I'll hit OK, I'll hit Yes, then I want to go here, and say that needle 5 is going to be needle 3, needle 6 will be needle 4, needle 7 will be needle 2, and needle 8 will be needle 1. I'll go ahead and hit OK. You can see that changes in my screen and hit OK. I can then move on to the next one and do the same thing. I can go into my colors and we'll take a We'll left click on this one, we'll take kind of like a silver, left click on this one, left click on this one, left click on number four, we'll take that a little bit darker, and then number five we'll also have as uh, number one. So I'll hit OK. Yes, I want to save that. I'll go here. Five, we'll replace it with one. Hit OK. We'll press OK again. And then again, we can go to the third one. After we hit OK, it will bring it in as the right color. So you can see this one is the right colors. This one is the right colors. This one I did not change. So what I'm going to do here is I'm also going to change the number to 2, hit change, I'm going to change this to 3, hit change, change this to 4, and then I can all at one time I can take these three, right click and export them, make sure transport code is selected, OK. I'm going in my shared folder, I'll hit save, save, and save. Then I'll go ahead and hit OK and it'll bring all those designs in. So here's my first design and then I can go to window, I can go to number three, and then I can go to number four and print out, print out all these worksheets and it will work with the barcoding and the zoo file. So it is, you know, you don't have to do everything one by one so you it's a little bit easier this way to do multiple. So if you have any questions, please contact us and let us know.